So today we're gonna be herping in this area. It's near Sanin Mountain at 1600 meters above sea level. This area is famous for uh, LFE sour mates or the blotched snake. It's a very rare snake in Lebanon, very biome restricted. Uh, it only exists in this area and uh, in Shouf Reserve, Baruch Reserve. And it's very hard to find it, but some hikers actually spotted it a few times around here. Once even it was sitting in that house on the couch outside. But of course we tried to find it before, never got the chance to. So maybe today we get lucky. That over there, guys, is a very common lizard species called the Sertaliavis or rock lizard. It's hiding after it saw me. It's going inside the rocks. These guys are available almost everywhere in Lebanon. They're insectivores and they're a source of food for many snakes and other lizard-eating animals. Here's a, another rock lizard. He's just sitting there chilling, sunbathing. These guys are very common, as you can see. We can spot lots and lots of them running around here. They have the ability to climb walls, rocks and everything, searching for food of insects. And this is probably female. Males have like white, bluish throat. Oh, there are some promising boards around here. Maybe we can find something under them. Nope, nothing here. One more try. And nothing here. Check this out guys. My friend just found a dwarf snake, Levantine dwarf snake. It's one of the five dwarf snake species in Lebanon from the genus Levantine, uh, Arenis. Uh, these guys are insectivores. Most of them, they eat different insects, depends on the area they live in. Some of them that grow big can eat small lizards. Mostly they live under rocks and in dark places uh, with lots of prey. They're completely harmless. As you can see, they do not even bite or hiss. Now my friend is gonna release the little dwarf snake. Here she goes. Or not? Hello. I'm so excited to leave. And here, guys, you can see a rock agama, Stella agama, Stellio, just sitting tanning there. It's another common lizard distributed throughout Lebanon from the coastline to the mountains. They're pretty diverse in colors and grow big up to 30 centimeters. This is a female. Males are usually more colorful, black with spots and stripes. Uh, they are afraid of humans, like every other lizard, but this one is really far, so that's why it's still sitting there. Uh, they are insectivores, they feed on insects and small animals that they can chew. Uh, they also eat some vegetation sometimes, like flowers and fruits and other stuff. Look at this beautiful dragonfly, look at these big eyes. She's able to see everything with these eyes, different directions. Dragonflies are one of the major insects for insect control. They eat mosquitoes and flies and any flying insects on their way. They can eat thousands of them per day. Amazing predators. And they lay their eggs in water. Their larvae are also predatory. They feed on uh, tadpoles, small fish and small creatures that live underwater. Check this out. As I was telling you guys, dragonfly lay their eggs in water. Look at this female. Beautiful female. Now we arrived to a lake. There are lots and lots of frogs around here. Dragonflies and probably die snakes that feed on these frogs. Look at these guys. Two huge frogs, marsh frogs, mating near the lake. They're pretty calm and cool about me being around so far. I will try to get some a bit closer maybe and take closer pictures. Here they are guys, the happy couple are in the water now. As you can see, the male is slightly smaller than the female. The mating might take a while and 
the female has to stay above water because sometimes uh, more than one male comes and try to mate with her and end up drowning her. So she tries to stay as close to the shore as possible just to stay safe and stay alive basically. There you can see a dice snake. It's very far. I don't think we'll be able to catch it. It's pretty cool. It's the only aquatic snake species in Lebanon. As in, it's the only species that's able to dive underwater and stay underwater for a long time, like 20 minutes or so. It feeds on frogs and fish, unlike other snakes. Oh, there's someone moving in the grass. Look, look who's that. That's a Greek tortoise, guys. Probably it was drinking from there. She didn't realize that I'm, I'm alive. What a beautiful turtle. It's a female, by the way. Males are much smaller. And here's another little Greek tortoise crossing the road. AKA Spurthite Turtles. Uh, it's entering their grasses. And cross safety. Unfortunately, not all the snakes we find are alive. Here you can see a dead Montpellier snake, Malpolin Signitus. Probably it died since yesterday. Roadkill. These guys are mildly venomous and probably the second biggest snake in Lebanon after the whip snake. They have rear fangs in the back of their mouth and they're famous for eating other snakes aside of the common prey like birds and uh, rodents and lizards. This one is uh, an adult, but they can grow twice this size. 